in the music business, it's not just about making beats, bro. It's you have to craft a distinct image, a distinct brand that resonates with the specific audience and community. So most of these producers are only focusing on what it sounds like instead of what it looks like. It's basically what I'm trying to say. And what it looks like is what's going to be mem what's memorable to the audience. So mistake number one is neglecting branding for the beats. So instead of establishing a vis visual identity, some of y'all producers are falling into the trap of thinking that the beats alone are going to speak for you. And you miss the opportunity to actually create a cohesive brand that goes way further than just what it sounds like. So you're making it challenging for potential collaborators, artists, and fans to connect with you. So just to go a little bit deeper, the importance of the visual identity, it basically, it, it encompasses, another big word for y'all, um, it encompasses everything like a logo or like album artwork or the social media aesthetic, your personal style, bro. And it's about creating something recognizable that represents the unique sound that you cre create with your personality. And in today's age, the visual stuff plays the biggest role in discovery. Think about like Instagram Reels, think about TikTok, think about YouTube. And then some areas you can improve, bro. We're gonna explore some strategies for producers. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna list some stuff off. And everything I tell y'all, it's basically going to be to enhance your visual aspect of things. Like we're going to emphasize all your best areas and really show that to the world, show that to the audience. And hopefully we get you a little crowd, you know, <laughs> a little audience is what I meant to say. Um, but okay, tip number one, I would say design a distinct logo. The reason why you need a logo is that the logo is your visual signature. You could put it on a t-shirt it's the first thing people are going to see and associate with you. So again, step number one is create a simple yet memorable logo that reflects your style and consider everything about your personality and your sound to create this logo. Think about your aesthetic, right? Number two is curating, like making a cohesive social media presence. You have to have a social media presence because it's the first point of contact for collaborators and fans. And again, you have to have your aesthetic on point because they need to be familiar with who you are. So maintain like a, a simple color palette, um, maybe use the same filter for your photos or just something that reflects the music, bro. Um, so think about it that way. Hopefully that helps. Number three is crafting consistent album artwork and the reason you want to do this is because again with the visual representation you want to show con consistency it creates like a narrative in people's heads like okay this is what he's about this is the vibe this is the aesthetic so develop like a template or something that you can use for your album covers that don't mean every cover has to be the same but it should be like a visual thread kind of tying them together <clears throat> number four is personalize your digital presence. You wanna do that because your personal connection is crucial to showcasing yourself beyond the music and creating that deeper bond with the audience. So something you could do today even is start sharing behind the scenes glimpses, just short snippets or just little videos of the creative process, share like little anecdote, anecdotes and you know just let the audience know who you are basically. Number five, create a branding style guide. A style guide is gonna make sure that you stay on point, stay consistent with all the visual elements and you don't get off track. Um, so some actionable steps I would say is like choose a color scheme, choose some fonts you like, styles, logos, and use those as like your guidelines, like a rule book going forward. Um, number six, collaborate with visual artists. You want to do this because sometimes bringing in a fresh perspective can elevate your visual identity and partnering with graphic designers or visual artists can create, you know, some, something unique. And if they really understand your branding or vision, then that shit will go far, bro. And remember, like the goal is to create a visual identity that becomes like, what's the word, synonymous 
with your music. That shit should go together like this. And um, these strategies that I just gave y'all, if you do it correctly, people will be able to recognize you from all the noise, all the other artists. And it should resonate with people too. It should go a lot further for y'all too. It shouldn't, I don't know. I feel like y'all will see a lot of change just by doing this one thing. You know what I'm saying? So I hope this helps somebody. This was just a quick video I wanted to make. I really wanted to take a nap, but I decided to make this video. So you are welcome. Uh, if you don't know, I do have a book out right now called The 48 Laws of Music Marketing. It's down in the description. Go ahead and click the link, get you a copy. Read that hell too.